Budget Beauty Buys today and uh, this is all about skincare, hair care and body care. If you want to know about the budget makeup that I've used to create the look that I'm wearing then you need to click on the last video uh, and I'll put a link to that either somewhere here or in the information box below and all the product details as well are in the information box so if you need to know anything check there first before leaving a comment and let's get on with it. Basically I've been judging the Zest Beauty Awards and last year I judged the Cosmopolitan Beauty Awards and I've done a couple of little ones in between and the thing about judging these awards is that it's always a bit of an eye-opener because you receive product samples that you wouldn't normally necessarily look at or buy for yourself so I always find it um, quite enlightening seeing the kind of things that are out there and directly comparing them with things that are a lot more expensive. So a few of these products are in the video as a direct result of me using them for the judging for the awards and there are a lot of products also that are old favourites and there are some that I've discovered quite recently, nothing to do with any awards or anything like that, that I think really stand up to products that are a lot more expensive. So. The first one, I'm not going to go in any particular order, um, but the first one is something I've been using a lot recently, and this is part of my testing for the teen skin videos, which I know I'm a bit behind with, but this is the Malvita Purifying Mask, and it's for normal combination skin, and it's a kind of, um, I don't know, like a, a deep cleansing mask really, like a clay mask, but I just find it very, very effective, very purifying, and if you normally have quite good skin but every once a month your skin goes a bit haywire then this is a really nice one to use. feels quite gentle uh, but effective and um, I'll put the link to that in the information along with everything else. It's a really good buy that one. Now in terms of hair I've got some old favourites here. This is the Sheer Blonde from John Frieda Shampoo and Conditioner. Uh, it's not the one that does any kind of lightening on your hair. It's like a clarifying highlight activating shampoo so it just makes your blonde look a little bit crisper and I've used these for ages and ages um, but never really found a video to put these in so here they are in the budget video there's always some kind of three for two offer in boots that you can get these on which makes it a lot cheaper and I finished off my hair with the Tresemme Split Remedy Serum I love a good hair serum um, and this one I just find just seals the ends a little bit and makes my hair look a bit smoother. The sun's just gone in which means that my lighting's drastically changed so sorry about that. One more hair product and I talked about this recently but I'll repeat myself. It's the 60 second treatment from Goldwell, um, the Rich Repair Mask. Really, really good, really inexpensive. I was very surprised at the price. Um, and I know a lot of you have bought this since. It's for dry, kind of damaged, distressed hair distressed hair, stressed hair, um, and I've had really good feedback from you as well, so this is a really good buy. A couple of body things that I've just grabbed from in the bathroom, Tisserand All Over Skin Wash, I've used this over and over again, it's got tea tree oil in it and grapefruit and it's just very zingy and lovely and fresh, and then this Dove um, Gradual Tan, which is like a body lotion with a bit of tanner in it, and it just gradually um, makes your skin deeper and deeper in colour. It doesn't go too ridiculously deep if you're uh, fairer like me, it doesn't go orange or anything like that, um, but it's just really nice and nice and moisturising, so that's a good one. Eye makeup removers, now I'm a bit obsessed with eye makeup removers, and two really good ones that I would have thought would be a lot more expensive. Uh, the favourite one which is Chlorine, and it's just a very gentle but effective eye makeup remover with cornflower water uh, and I think that's less than a fiver which I think is very very good um, and then there's the Champagne's Double Action Eye Makeup Remover which is a bi-phase one so you shake it and that's very effective too. On my nails and in the makeup video on my nails, uh, Bourjois One Second Nail Polish and uh, this is in shade, is it three? I'm not sure, I'll have to check that for you, but it's got a really good wide brush so you just need one sweep of polish on each nail and it dries within seconds, it's absolutely brilliant and I love this nude shade and when you want to take it off again, the Bourjois Magic Nail Polish Remover which is like this foamy stuff saturated with polish remover and you stick your finger into the hole, wiggle it round and um, when you draw it out your nail polish has gone 
so that's very good too, I've mentioned that one before. Um, Murad blemish spot treatment, which I find to be a really, really effective one, isn't normally too much of a budget buy, but at the moment I think this has got loads of money off at Feel Unique. I'll double check that, but um, I think it does have. If it doesn't, it's still a really good buy, but it's just great for kind of overnight spot treatments. And this is La Roche-Posay, I don't know how to pronounce it, Chisha Plast is it? Um, and it's a really nice, calming, soothing rescue remedy for skin that's chapped or post peel. So if you've gone a bit mad with the exfoliation or you've been for a professional peel, um, then you know that's quite nice. Flaking skin around the nose if you've had a cold, chap lips. It's just a really good kind of skin saviour. So that one's very nice indeed. And you've seen this one before. This is the Vichy Normaderm anti-age, um, anti-wrinkle resurfacing care. You know that I love my kind of glycolic AHA products and this is one that's kind of, I don't know, uh, slightly more affordable than the ones that I've shown you already and it's a nice cream formula so if you don't like the feel of the liquid gold where you just put on a liquid and it leaves your skin very, uh, feeling very kind of unmoisturised then this one might be a more comfortable texture for you. Whizzing through these Soap and Glory Clear Here T-Zone Oil Control Lotion, which I very much like. Um, if you've got very oily skin and you want something to go underneath your foundation, then this is brilliant. It leaves the skin really matte, but it's also very moisturising at the same time. So I don't think this has an SPF, um, so you'd need to make sure your SPF's in your tinted moisturiser or foundation or primer, um, but it's a very, very good moisturiser. One that does have an SPF, Neutrogena Multi Defense Daily Moisturizer, and this is SPF 25. And if you're looking for just a very basic but effective moisturizer that's got your SPF inbuilt, then this is a good option. That is it. I should do another one of these soon because I know just from filming this, I can think of about a million things that I haven't put in. So I'll do another one soon. Make sure that you look at the makeup video that I did, which is the makeup that I'm wearing. And um, again, all the links and everything are in the information box below. Have a look at my vlog channel because I've put a new fashion video up about this time last week, which I think that you'll like. And I shall see you in the next video.